just a sec here. How's it coming on my There we go. Good morning. Sorry, for some reason it activated my uh, area chat. But hello and everybody. I hope you're doing super duper today. Uh, so I'm going to show you my current build. I am going punchy punchy fist fist. Um, you know, every now and then you get a weapon and you're like, hmm. Um, what is this weapon? Is It's good. And this is a little better than it should be. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, this is the gauntlet. Um, yeah, running a gauntlet other than a power fist. The gauntlet, uh, the damage is decent. The power fist does more damage, usually. Uh, the reason I'm rocking this gauntlet is because, um, if you'll notice, um, it does 40% faster swing speed. Uh, it is bloodied, which uh, I'm running a bloodied build. Um, but you know, um, the 40% faster swing speed uh, does a few things. Uh, mainly makes you punch faster than holy crap. So this is counted as unarmed. Um, the gauntlet. I don't know why I just reset position there. Um, plus one endurance. Not that great. I don't really care about endurance. But the 40% uh, the faster swing speed is um, good. Uh, the reason being, if I go to my perks, uh, you'll see I have martial artist. Uh, where my melee weapons weigh 60% less, and I can swing them 30% faster. Now this stacks with the 40% faster swing speed to give me 70% faster punching. Um, so yeah. Um, and uh, if you throw an incisor, melee and unarmed weapons uh, ignore 75% of your target's armor. Uh, so yeah, basically it's uh, almost... Uh, and that does stack with anti-armor. I think um, it doesn't go to 100 if you have anti-armor weapons. I think it uh, does something else. It's not 100% armor penetration. Or maybe it is. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it is. Um, Barbarian I don't really need because my, uh, my damage resistance is pretty high. I, I might swap that out for something else somewhere down the line. <clears throat> but Iron Fist, uh, my punching attacks deal 20% more damage. The gauntlet is a punching attack. So there you go. Uh, let me show you. Um, the rest of these are meh. Nerd Rage, of course, with Bloody it is a, a thing. Uh, the Demolition Expert actually does add plus 60% damage. I'm going to under certain circumstances, and I'm going to show you why. Uh, if I go to my legendary perks up here. Um, we'll go all the way over. Hack and Slash is pretty good because if I use Vets, I do an area damage. Uh, but the Exploding Palm here, uh, when unarmed, 20% chance of triggering an explosion on attack hits. This goes off a lot and uh, basically adds 60% more damage uh, when it goes off. So yeah, it's just an unintended uh, thing I ran into. I've got Legendary Strength Max so I can get uh, just a little more damage. It's not required, but I like it. I went with Legendary Intelligence because um, I'm slowly building it up to just get more experience. Um, this is just so I don't have to use the perk cards. And um, I could probably do the rad one, but I decided to do Funky Duds. Uh, but I decided to go with fit Sizzling Style. Uh, mostly for Earl fights, because the Fire AoE is just kicks the living daylights out of me. So there you go. So let's see this in action. I'm not going to punch a robot, but we're going to uh, just run up here and start punching a few things just to see how it goes. Because <clears throat> uh, there's usually... I, I could probably do this as we... Uh, I do love punching cars. We got a, a big group here. And you see, I just killed them all. Uh, the area effect dropped and uh, the explosion did too. So, um, yeah! Um, it's one of those, would I recommend this build? Uh, only if you get, like, a very specific, um, on the gauntlet, or maybe a power fist. Power fist is still a little slower. Gauntlet is pretty much at your punch speed. Where's this guy at? This there you are. 
Uh, and you see that damage is topping out just under a thousand. Um, and these guys are pretty low, lowly guys anyway. But um, yeah, it does pretty good. Um, let's go over here, the parking lot, for a little more extra punching. There we go. Blow up a few cars. Hey, everybody. There's usually legendary or two over here, too. Oh, yeah. My rage just went off. I only try to keep my rage going. I think I'm just a little over, but. Say, Levy. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, that's pretty good. Especially with crowd control. This is pretty good for crowd control because that uh, hit vats and everybody just falls down. So there you go. Um, yeah, it's just one of those builds I just kind of lucked into from getting the gauntlet. And I just really wanted to test out the gauntlet. I just happened to get that one from... Um, I think I got it as a daily ops reward. The bloody gauntlet. Uh, I would like to see eventually a... Um, maybe a uh, skin for the uh, the gauntlet I know it's an oddly specialized weapon but it would be nice to have a skin for it let's go here this is usually a pretty high traffic area oh, a little punching oh hello friend so yeah the only thing is I, I run without power armor because uh, this weapon is not usable in power armor but that's fine. I am running the Brotherhood Recon armor right now, and I don't think I'm, I think I need to switch back to um, the uh, Secret Service armor because I think it, even though it has a little extra damage reduction, anything over 350 usually uh, pops out pretty much at 350, uh, and I'm, I've got above that. I get him, I got him. I'll take a, a quick look at what my stats are currently. Um, so yeah, I've got a bunch of perks. Um, the big perks with this, um, Talons is, uh, Talons and Twisted mu Muscle, because um, Talons gives me the extra unarmed damage, and uh, that's what we need. Uh, my strength stays between 40. 43 and 50 usually <clears throat> which is uh what i'm mostly worried about um what was i looking at oh yeah where's my damage reduction uh so you see there my uh my normal damage reduction is 437 that's probably higher than it needs to be oh no it's a uh, 612 that's way higher than it needs to be yeah so there you go um fire resistance is shoddy uh but it only really affects me when i'm uh fighting earl pretty much i need i do need to get that out flamers if freighters are using flamers that can not feel great but yeah this is a pretty good build i can usually uh more or less solo daily ops. Uh, the anti-armor ones give me a little bit of a fit, but um, other than that, I do I do pretty good. Just uh, just running around punching. Uh, and it's a little cathartic doing a build like this. You're just like I'm just gonna screw it. Let's just punch everything. I think I took two hits for some reason. And you will notice um, there probably are a couple dead down here. Um, the uh, the explosion effect is a sphere, so it will sometimes kill ghouls that are like a, a down a level. I think it's caps. I don't need them, but I'll take them. Um, so yeah, pretty decent build. There's usually one to go in here, but it looks like he's not today. So yeah, I think I do recommend this 
field if you get a gauntlet with 40% faster swing speed. Uh, ideally, I would like an anti-armor one too, just to like see just how it performs. Um, that would be nice. I do have an instigating one. Instigating is not great, but it does all right in daily ops where you have to do decryption. Uh, it doesn't have the faster swing speed though. So there you go. There's a, a build that's um, a thing. Um, and it's all because of this shiny weapon right here. So yeah, if you feel like giving the, um, the old gauntlet a go, look for one with faster swing speed and uh, build up your perks and you'll have fun punching a lot. So there you go.